What's going on, people? How you doing? TK coming at you. And what I want to try to do is enlighten some people and empower some others in terms of Bitcoin. I've been sneezing a lot. In terms of uh, what Bitcoin is, how it can help you, and then what is the technology behind, or at least what makes Bitcoin work. So let's start off on the basics. The first thing people come out their mouth with is what someone else told them, which is usually a lie and some sort of control mechanism because that's what humans are about. Ensuring that they have more power and they have more control and they do it by manipulation and uh, control over other people. So the first thing people say about Bitcoin is, oh, well, it's too expensive to participate in. I shoulda, coulda, woulda, but I was scared. So now it costs too much. So everything that you say expresses your understanding and also expresses your fundamental control measures or your built-in ideology. So if you say Bitcoin costs too much, you're given an excuse not to participate based on a falsehood in Bitcoin tenants. So let's cover those tenants. Go to the app store and download XE, which is a currency converter. And XE basically lists all currency parity where within fungibility, you can transfer one currency to another. And this app shows you and does that for you so that you don't have to do any math. But in seeing Bitcoin within the app, it should open your mind to step beyond the lie of price control. Because Bitcoin has been listed within XE as a tradable currency against other currencies for a very long time. So what that means is that Bitcoin is fungible. It can be exchanged for any other type of currency, just like any currency that you know within the world, right? So how could one currency be too expensive to participate in if you can trade it for another currency? So that's like saying that the dollar is too expensive to trade in. I think I'll stick with the rupee. Or the euro is too expensive. So I think I'll stick with the peso. Well, maybe if you have pesos, it costs more euro in order. I mean, it, if you want euro and you have pesos, it's going to cost more pesos to get euro. But you're trading one currency for another. So the value in which that currency is based is simply based on the dynamics of a market within your country. So maybe the rupee is 60% less. And uh, maybe the peso is at 10% less. Maybe the highest currency performing over the last seven years is Bitcoin. So maybe it's not that Bitcoin is too expensive. It's that your local currency is too devalued. Maybe the situation is money is just an agreement between two people. So whatever value is agreed to be exchanged happens within what's said to be fixed or said to be legal tender by your local central authority. But the differential factor in Bitcoin that people ignore uh, lie about and can't seem to understand is that you are the central authority. In Bitcoin, you are the owner and you are the issuer. 
because of the process that it takes to create the digital asset, you are the one in control. You are the one that sets the rules. So that's something that people can't, don't, and refuse to understand. And that's what I hope to enlighten you with because if you read more about the technical side of Bitcoin, you'll find out that the characteristics within the electronic secure mechanism means that there is no central authority other than you. If you add another party to your contract, you're doing it voluntarily. So the process of you, your money, your bank, your wallet, that's it. A completely different model from having a trusted third party in which you have to ask permission, get uh, fined. That's not the case. That's not the case for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a separate medium. Bitcoin is a, its own animal. And this animal is solely based on independent distributed nodes that work in a consensus to allow value to be transmitted from one person to another. So it's never about price. All of these stupidity people who get into Bitcoin and then they make these fucked up videos that talk about, I'm flashing my cash, I cashed out my Bitcoin, is idiotic and stupid. Why? Because Bitcoin is its own means of monetary, it's its own monetary system. So why the hell would you go from gold to cash out to go back to cash when gold is a separate monetary system. Bitcoin is a separate monetary system. So it's idiotic to go from a higher value monetary system back to a lower value monetary system and then parade your ignorance. The concept is stick to the higher uh, monetary system and don't convert back. And if you need to interface with someone who only accepts the lower form of monetary value, then go to an ATM machine. But don't convert one back to the other because each one comes with its own set of rules. If you get Bitcoin, convert back to cash, now you have to revert back to the owner of the cash, which is the United States government, and now you have tax problems that you have to adjust for. Because that money's not yours. You're just the uh, bearer. You know, they let you use those debt notes. So why get yourself into those tax problems? Go into Bitcoin, stay in Bitcoin. When you need to interface with somebody who doesn't uh, have a Bitcoin interface, then use a Bitcoin ATM card to go to an ATM machine. Keep it simple. That's why you have the advent of gold money, where now if you interface, if you have gold and you interface with someone who doesn't, you can convert it via credit card. So in other words, we have to elevate our financial IQ. We really have to get to the point where we're empowering ourselves and uh, doing better with positioning. So that's what these videos are for. These videos are trying to somehow reach people with the right information instead of propagating the throw up lies and the sad ass excuses people use not to study or not to participate. So don't come with the, it's too expensive. You know what I'm saying? That's like saying four quarters are too expensive. What the hell are you talking about? Four quarters are too expensive. Four quarters are just another uh, t uh, form of a dollar. That's what we mean when we say fungible because you can transfer from one asset to another asset and it's still equal to the same asset. So, same people who say gold is too expensive, 
Same people who say Bitcoin is too expensive don't realize that these are just different forms of assets.